Oh, what about you? I did a video last week where I changed these swirl flaps in a Volvo diesel, but uh, I never really got a chance to explain what they are and what they do. So there we go, that's where our boost was leaking, out of here. So that's our flaps there, and they're just sitting in there in wee plastic uh, pieces here. So they're just worn out. So these boys here sit in the head, and uh, they're just sitting in with these wee plastic pieces. And in this case, they were all worn out, and uh, there was boost coming out of this this end here. So these ones are electrically actuated and the default position is to sit uppermost like that. So with the air coming in the top, coming in the top and then in, into the intake and into, into the head into the cylinder like that. So we'll just have a wee look and uh, see what way these work. But there's various tapes and you know they can be vacuum operated or there's different different ways, you know. This is an electrically actuated sword flap mechanism. So this is a manifold of a three cylinder petrol. It's off a wee uh, Vauxhall Corsa, I think. And uh, there's your three injectors there. And uh, this one is vacuum operated. So there's a solenoid here that allows the vacuum from the uh, manifold to go up in to that actuator. And that then moves the arm and moves the flaps. So when I manually move the arm, you can see the flaps closing over there. But uh, their default position is fully open. But well, we can see on this number three cylinder, the uh, swirl flap isn't moving. So in some cars, it's actually prudent to delete these things because some of them are held in with uh, wee self tapping screws and they can loosen up and the, and the screws and maybe even the whole flap can get ingested into the cylinder, causing serious damage. Those photos are from a BMW. So the idea of this is to interrupt the airflow when the flap moves in either direction. So here we can see the airflow being diverted. By the flaps. So we'll have these flaps that interrupt the airflow that goes into the cylinder. And these are known as swirl flaps, also known as tumble flaps. And what that's describing is to make the air tumble onto itself as it goes into the cylinder, as these flaps uh, get actuated. So 
we're trying to fill the cylinder completely for a better combustion. The other way you could theoretically do that, so your injector sits in the middle of the cylinder and what you could maybe do is move the injector about, but that's just not practical to do that because that's sealed in the cylinder head. So instead of moving the injector about the cylinder so that it fills up the, uh, the combustion chamber, we move the airflow instead. So I hope that helps with uh, what these things are and what they actually do. So yeah, it's to improve combustion and uh, fill the cylinder up a bit better. So yeah, hope it helps. Maybe you get something out of that. And uh, thanks for watching as ever and all the best and bye bye.